Hello, everyone. Yes, it's true. It's Mega Champ again. So, I just thought I'd do another one of these really quick. Um, hopefully with less, you know. I, I don't think I really need to say it at this point, but, um... Today, or for this, um, video... I will be giving what will basically be my quote-unquote final thoughts before the Kingdom Hearts 20th Anniversary event. So for those who are not aware, uh, Kingdom Hearts is having their 20th anniversary this year. Technically it already happened um, on March 28th, I think but they are not doing an actual actual event for it until this upcoming weekend on April 10th. I don't know what time it is, honestly. Um, if what I have been hearing from other sources is correct and accurate, I believe it... I mean... I believe my time, it will start at like midnight until 6 o'clock in the morning is from is what I've heard. So yeah, I won't be able to watch it. Not that I could, even if I wanted to, because the Kingdom Hearts 20th Anniversary event is not being live streamed. So that's a thing. So yeah, I just thought I would give um, my own personal sort of quote-unquote final thoughts before the event happens. I mean, <laughs> I'm no HMK, but eh. So yeah, the Kingdom Hearts 20th Anniversary event is this weekend. And if you didn't notice what I said by now, let me repeat it. The event is from midnight... Uh, until 6 a.m. Uh, my time. So, yeah, that's six hours. Yeah, six hours. It's a long time for an anniversary event. So you would think, you would hope, one can only assume and or hope and or whatever that it wouldn't just be six hours for no reason whatsoever however <laughs> I'd be lying if I said you know it could be six hours of just that and literally nothing else because if there's one thing we all know seriously if there's one thing we all know I personally have learned at this point is to expect literally nothing and don't get me wrong okay I'm that's pretty much how I have to treat everything at this point is to expect literally nothing I mean you would think that if they were going to make a major announcement or reveal something or anything for that matter for the Kingdom Hearts franchise they would do it in a way that would make a lot more sense technically I guess if you want to put it that way and where you know more people could see it but they're going to do whatever they want especially when it comes to Trollmura I mean Nomura <laughs> so yeah I mean we'll see I, uh, I, I don't know what to really say. I kind of feel like, and this is nothing against HMK, okay? Don't take this as me bashing him. But he's kind of setting himself up for the same situation that happened to me in February. So hopefully that won't happen, but, you know, it's a possibility that we can't just outright, you know discount altogether but 
in terms of the Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary event, I don't know. Personally, when it comes to me, I do kind of feel like that if it's going to be six hours, good God, then you would think it would have something major at this event. Which, by the way, is taking place uh, at the... Uh, Shibuya building, building in Tokyo, Japan, where the, um, spoilers, where the Yozura secret boss takes place on top of in the Remind, Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC. So that kind of tells you something, too, right there. I mean, I don't have a picture of it, but, I mean, this is just the world ends with you, but it's, it's this building right here. So... Yeah. <laughs> boy, that troll... I mean, Nomura, boy, he just likes to troll, doesn't he? Anyway. But yeah, that's where the event is taking place. So you combine that with the fact that Quadratum, which is the world that Yozura is in, is also basically Shibuya. <laughs> it does make you think that you know, there's a reason why they're doing all of this and um, having the event at that location and doing it in this specific way. But who knows, honestly? I mean, really, who knows? Like I said, I, I'm not going to say I expect anything because, honestly, my expectations are nothing. But expectations and hopes are two different things. Obviously, you can hope for anything you want as long as you don't expect it because we saw how that went for me. So, in terms of what I think will happen, um, in terms of reveals or announcements at the Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary event, it really comes down to two possibilities for me. The first is kind of obvious, which is Kingdom Hearts 4. Boy. That would be great. It really would. Uh, I don't know if they will give a release window. If they do, my best guess would be 2023. There's no way it's coming out this year, that's for sure. But... That's the first possibility, obviously, is Kingdom Hearts 4. Especially after a lot, I won't say everything, but most of the stuff from that NVIDIA leak, if you've heard about that, just research it on Google if you don't know what that is, because that's what Google's for. Um, NVIDIA leak, it's N-V-I-D-I-A or something like that. But, um... A lot of the stuff on that list has slowly but surely turned out to be true. Uh, and one of the things on that was Kingdom Hearts 4. So it's, you can't, like I said earlier, you can't discount the possibility of it happening. So Kingdom Hearts 4 is definitely something that could be potentially revealed and announced at the 20th anniversary event. The other thing is <laughs> oh boy I mean no not really not really Final Fantasy versus 13 but it's basically Final Fantasy versus 13 uh, what I mean by that is of course this Verum Rex a game uh, based off of Yozura and Quadratum with Yozura as the main character a, a Verum Rex game. It's what what I like to refer to as Kingdom Hearts, or sorry, uh, Final Fantasy Versus 13 except KH, or I guess another way you could put it is, which I guess sounds maybe a little bit better, is Kingdom Hearts Versus 13, which is another name I've seen people call it. But it's basically a Kingdom Hearts version of Final Fantasy Versus 13. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> have you seen that Yozura 
ending from the Remind Secret Boss, you don't even have to battle it. I mean, I, I, I certainly didn't, because I struggled enough with Lingering Will from Kingdom Hearts 2.5, but... I mean, I did beat it eventually somehow, but... I didn't even touch the Remind stuff. Way too hard for me. The Secret Boss stuff, I mean, but... I beat the DLC, I just didn't touch the secret boss stuff, but if you, <laughs> seriously, go watch the quote-unquote bad and good endings from this Yozura secret boss, especially, well, actually, it's really both of them, but, um, but yeah, it's pretty much both of them. I mean, <laughs> I, d do I really need to say anything? <laughs> oh, good God. Trollboro at his best. Um, yeah, this is Noctis back when he was, back when it was Versus 13, and, yeah, that's, it's, this is just, <laughs> come on now, we all see it. I mean, Nomura can say all he wants, that it, they're not the same character, but that freaking ending from Remind tells a way different story. So, I mean, if you compare that from Final Fantasy vs. 13 trailers, it's practically a shot-for-shot -shot remake. It's pretty much literally a shot-for-shot -shot remake. So, yeah, it's versus 13. So, those are the two possibilities that I see happening. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 4 or a Verum Rex game, Kingdom Hearts versus 13. And the other possibility is, of course, the world ends with you somehow being involved with it. I still haven't played this game. Good God. But that's my problem. Uh, I would probably lose it. Me even saying that I will lose it is a massive ass understatement. If the world ends with you characters show up in it. For me personally, it doesn't even have to necessarily be uh, these characters from the sequel. It could be the original characters. It could be all of them. I, it wouldn't really matter to me. I kind of feel like because of Dream Drop Distance, it would make more sense for it to be the original characters than the new ones, but I could see it being both or the new ones because, you know, the, that's the most recent, obviously. And one of the characters from the original is still technically in this game, so... Uh, yeah, so I could see it being one or all of them. But if they show up, it's just going to be insanity. It really is. God. But yeah, um... There's really not much else for me to say, honestly, about the Kingdom Hearts 20th Anniversary event. It has to be six hours for a reason, but... I'm not saying I'm expecting what I just said to happen. I'm just saying it could. It's my hope, basically, but... <laughs> if you... I mean, I kind of already said what my expectation was, which is literally nothing. They're going to waste time for six hours, yeah. That's how you have to look at this stuff anywhere. you got to learn from my mistake, people. Don't be like me. Don't lose sleep over something like that, seriously. But yeah, I am hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. That's how you have to handle everything, so. But there are too many. I do kind of feel like there are too many subtle little hints from Trollmura, Nolmura, that something is going to happen, some kind of reveal, some kind of announcement. Because there's just too much to point to it because it's for the obvious being it being six hours but the fact that it's taking place in the shibia building that 
quadratum in the secret Yozura boss fight in Remind takes place on top of. And just the whole t entire situation in general. It does kind of feel a little unknown because they could technically waste time for six hours, but that would not look good, I'll tell you that much. Especially considering all the subtle little hints that Nomura has been doing and all of the, uh, you know, <laughs> troll stuff and where it's taking place and all of that. The fact that it's literally 13 days after the 20th anniversary. <laughs> it's just, what are you doing, man? Enough is enough with the trolling. But what else should we expect from Nomura? Trollmura at this point? I mean, it's possible we could get both of those things. Both Kingdom Hearts 4 and a Yozura slash Kingdom Hearts versus 13 game. But God, that almost seems impossible. For me personally, I kind of feel like it's not going to be both. That's just my feeling of it. I mean, I'd love to be wrong, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's either going to be uh, Kingdom Hearts 4 or Kingdom Hearts vs. 13. It's going to be one or the other, not both. I mean, if you want to know my preference, I, I don't really have one. I mean, if, if I had to choose one, it, you know, like if you put a gun to my head or whatever metaphor you want to use, and I had to choose one or the other, I'd probably say Kingdom Hearts 4, mostly because, you know, I don't want to have to wait another 10 years. Because <laughs> I've had enough 10-year waits. Seriously. Final Fantasy 15, Persona 5. I mean, enough is enough at this point, but... So if I had to choose one, I'd say my preference would probably be Kingdom Hearts 4. But I would take either one. So I will be glad with whatever it ends up being, if it ends up being anything at all. So, yeah. Just don't... Just don't expect anything. That's all I can really say. But I just thought I should get my own sort of personal feelings or thoughts or however you want to put it about the 20th anniversary event out there and that's it we'll just go from there and hope for the best oh HMK I really hope you don't have the same thing that happened to you you don't end up going through the same thing I went through in February basically I really really do I mean, I'm hoping for <laughs> something too, but God. We'll see. That's about all I can say about it at this point. We'll see. It's this upcoming weekend. So we're going to find out one way or the other at some point. So depending on what happens, if anything, I might make a reaction for it. So we'll see, but like I said... You can't really just go, oh, it's going to happen, oh, it's going to happen, oh, it's going to happen. Because then you end up not being able to sleep. <laughs> no, that's just me. But, um, yeah, just don't go into this thinking, oh, it's going to be Kingdom Hearts 4, 4. oh, it's going to be Vera Bricks, Kingdom Hearts vs. 13. <laughs> no. They could literally waste everyone's time for six hours. Let's hope that doesn't happen, but it's still a possibility. We'll see. I need something, that's for sure. After a certain thing became vaporware. I mean, maybe it's not vaporware, but it feels like it's vaporware. Let's put it that way. So yeah, no cussing this time. I hope you're happy. No one's ever happy with me, let's be honest. But yeah, I am looking forward to it. Don't get me wrong, I am. Whether anything happens at it... <sighs> Only Nomura knows. Good old Trollmura. So yeah, 
I'd say it'll be either Kingdom Hearts 4 or Verum Rex slash Kingdom Hearts versus 13. One or the other, not both. If it is both, good God! But we'll see. We shall see. One thing's for sure, though. Whatever it ends up being, if it's anything at all, it absolutely has to be better than Kingdom Hearts 3. Seriously. It really does. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But we'll see. And that's it. We will see. And maybe you'll see a reaction for it from me. Maybe. Hope for the best. Expect the worst. Don't let yourself get too caught up in, you know, trying to hype yourself up for it. Because then you're only, you only end up in a ball in the corner sobbing. <laughs> or whatever, I don't know. But that's it. So we'll see what happens. But hopefully it'll be something. Or it could be nothing, but we'll see. But yeah, I, I think it'll either be Kingdom Hearts 4 or Verum Rex slash Kingdom Hearts versus 13. So that's the only two possibilities I see. So that's all I got for you. We'll see what it ends up being. I If you don't see a video from me by this upcoming weekend or sometime next week, or whenever I feel like making it, then that means that this video is not going to age well, because of course it's not, and nothing happened, because of course nothing happened. So that'll be your answer. And of course, if you see a reaction video from me, then you know something happened, so. But you know. But I'm no HMK. Go watch him. He's much better at this stuff than I am, that's for sure. But for now, we'll see what happens. So until we see what happens, this is MegaChamp saying next time I'll be providing you with more unlimited guidance.